All right. Uh, good day, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. And today we have an interesting car. Today we have the 2018 Honda Civic, uh, the tenth generation. Okay. So we strip off the entire interior, like as you can see in this picture. All right. So we strip off everything. Okay. So I've been looking for video reference um, for the entire removal process, but I can't find. I mean, I could find, but it's not as clear as. Uh, how it used to i mean you uh, how it should be okay so in this video i would like to show you guys or take take you guys in a step-by-step -step instructional video on how to remove um, each and every component uh, within the cabin okay so that includes the carpet the seats and uh, the center console i find the center console is a bit difficult and i personally believe that you should have a little um, experience in removing things that will facilitate uh, things better lah okay so first of all we are removing the um the the, the, uh, the driver's seat okay as usual interestingly this car doesn't use a 14 mm bolt instead of uh, a bolt they use a torx bolt okay so that's quite fascinating all right so at this stage please do not remove your battery because this is a power operated um seat right there's a motor underneath so you need you need the power battery to uh, move the seat uh, back and forward okay so right so we're removing that one okay so this is how a tox boat looks like all right mostly volkswagen and bmw use this so now honda is stepping up their game lah. all right okay uh there are two connectors below one is the airbag and one is for the um motor and the accessories underneath lah. okay so before you remove the seat i would suggest you to wrap the um, the side skirt with a towel or anything uh, just to prevent scratches when you're removing so later you will see how that thing will actually help you when you're removing the seat out okay the last thing is the last thing we want is a scratch on our door and stuff like that we don't want that okay so work safely and be smart when you're working okay so right um this connector was a bit weird the clip is broken um, i asked the owner and he said that the previous installer might have broken it so that's none of my problem lah. anyways okay that's how you remove the clip okay moving on now we're just making sure that uh, everything is out of our way and stuff like that okay i also like to remove the headrest um, prior to removing the seat because it allows me more um mo moving space okay so i have more room to actually play around with the um, angles and stuff like that lah, without suffering okay so as you can see that the amplifier wire is stuck with the rail so just be you know just be smart lah, guys all right okay we are moving on to the first step all right i like to i forgot to put the gear knob in neutral but um, anyways you can do that manually so what you have to do is uh, remove the shift lock uh, pad okay and then press it in and pull all the way down okay because later you need access all right so removing the sleeves and you will be exposed with a phillips screw that holds the gear knob okay so pretty straightforward okay remove that screw and you just pull out oh in order to remove the sleeve um, hold the left and right of the sleeve press it inwards and pull it down it's just a clip okay if that makes sense lah okay all right so that comes out easily and then moving on we are move uh first step is to remove the the trim um, i don't know what trim we call it but let's just assume it's a trim lah okay so just pull it out okay you don't need uh additional tools or whatsoever just a little hand force will do the work all right okay remove the internals okay you just have to just take i mean it just very straightforward okay you don't have to over complicate things all right okay there's another layer of carpet i think okay right after you remove that there will be two 10 mm screw bolt combination okay so just break the top with um, a y spanner or whatsoever lah, okay and then you just screw out the the two screws over there all right moving on we have to remove the side uh, screws okay it's an entire piece of panel there you have to remove that same goes to the right hand side because i just want to show you guys the left hand side just to you know 
keep this video short and informational as possible okay all right next step what am i doing here is to oh this one okay this stream is a bit difficult okay just keep in mind that um you have to be extremely careful when you remove this one i i suffered removing this and trust me if i say it's hard it's hard really <laughs> okay um the trick here is to just get the right angle okay um that last one is very very difficult the more you force it the harder it gets so eventually mine came out so i'm wishing you guys <laughs> all the best removing this lah okay right moving on looks like we are not moving on yet lah i'm still trying to remove it but yeah make sure you guys um use a proper prying tool instead of using a knife and whatsoever okay as you can see i got the right angle and i just popped it up okay this this is all about the angle you have to get the right angle to pop it up okay right oh i'm showing the left hand side also sorry the right hand side also okay well it's the same process you just have to get a good angle right uh, let me let me see if i manage to remove this will one go <laughs> no i don't think so that was a many try but yeah you get the point lah okay right oh yeah it's one go actually <laughs> okay so this panel right now we are removing the uh, center console where the gear knob is actually seated on where your parking position indicator and stuff like that and your auto brakes and your e brakes okay that panel so there's only two screws okay and then it it's held by few clips okay so you can see that's the clip the white color okay use a prying tool and pry it out and also please be gentle because there's three connectors underneath okay if you put too much of pressure chances of snapping off the the wires are very high okay so you don't want that just be extremely careful when you do this process all right okay that's how we remove that all right so okay this uh, center console is divided to top top part and bottom part okay so now we have to separate the top and bottom so as you can see i'm removing the screws okay just to get access um to the main bolts okay so that is the main attachment bolts that holds the top um, top part of the center console okay so you just follow this step just remove the screws and let's see what happens next Okay, I should have time lapse that video but yeah, it's okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Now we are removing the climate control. Just easy use a prying tool and just lift it up or just lever it lah, okay? Just be gentle. Don't be too harsh on the panels, okay? Then you'll have one connector over there. Okay, so that's off the oh, that is fine lah. Okay, now there's this panel, you have to pull it out, okay? In order to pull this out, you have to remove the climate control panel first. If not, you will not get access. All right. Moving on. See, that's just me looking around, see what did I miss and stuff like that. Okay, that's the main mounting, yeah. So that's the main mounting. Two of them. So there's three actually, two on top and one at the bottom which I will show you guys right now. Yeah, there you go. So that's that's the one. Remove that. And yes, remove this also. Don't forget to remove the position indicator. So this is your gear position indicator lah. That that's the LED that glows which uh, gear you are in. So that's the one. That's the position indicator. Okay, removing the side trims. Okay, pretty simple. Everything is held by clips. Okay, right. Me trying to see what did I miss? And sure enough, I did miss one thing, which is the center bolt here. Okay, you have to remove this bolt. This is the main overlapping joint between the top layer and the bottom layer. Okay, so there you go. You see, that's how you remove the top layer. All right, so the top layer is out. Now we have to focus on the bottom layer. Okay, first step, uh, I remove the the power outlet and the HDMI outlet. Okay, pretty simple. You just have to pull it out. Okay, make sure you put the prying tool and get the right angle, and then you have to pop it out, lah. 
and here comes another one okay i mean this is totally optional if you want to remove it or not but i removed it just to be safe and um you know prevent any scratches from coming out and i don't want to suffer doing my job like i rather take out few things okay and then uh yes this is one of the main um important aspect of this removal okay you will see a connector inside the dashboard don't forget to remove it ah huh? if not you are going to snap the wires all right okay so trying to remove but something is hitting and then i realized that i forgot to remove another uh, connector underneath there okay so that's how you remove the center console for the honda civic 10th generation okay all right so removing the carpet was straightforward you just have to extract the carpet out you will have um, i i don't think you you have any problem doing that lah and of course before soundproofing as usual i like to clean and vacuum the entire car okay and then wipe off with uh, isopropyl alcohol or min- mineral spirit or whatever chemical that you desire lah okay personally i like to use isopropyl alcohol because it's you know it's safe to use okay So there you go guys uh, this is the first layer of soundproofing the vibration isolation for this owner i particularly uh, installed three layers which mean two layers of vibration layer and one layer of noise and heat insulation which you will see in the next uh, picture all right so pretty much a good job done okay the owner was very happy and yeah that's about it so this is the um, sec i mean the third layer the noise and heat insulation okay it's a close foam water resistant material so okay after that that's about it we installed and restored everything okay and we managed to start the car and did some functional tests and everything was okay so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh please like share and subscribe uh that will be really helpful so have a great day be safe please wear your mask sanitize your hand okay So yeah thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video